Hey! Sporp here. I did a game jam over the weekend, and for those not in the know, a game jam is a limited time event where you have to build a game. You're given a theme on Friday, and then on Sunday night you present what you were able to come up with. That's right, I made a game, all by myself, with only a little bit of help from my mom. And you can go play it! Go to my itch.io link in the description, download and unzip the package, and you're off to the races. Also, I'll be doing a bit of a chat with this guy, Brian, who was kind enough to run the event. I'll be on his stream sometime after 8 p.m. on February the 3rd. That's this Wednesday, tomorrow. Join the fun as Brian plays games from the jam, and when mine comes up, I'll come on the show and talk about it with him. Now, on to some blog footage from the game jam. It starts with a bit of a drunk existential crisis, but then it gets a little bit happier. All right, enjoy. Happy playing. I'm filming this because time keeps escaping me. And that I had an idea. I'm doing a game jam right now, and the theme is Lost and Found. And something that I've lost, <laughs> I feel like, is my love of making games. And I used to, in study hall back in middle school, I would design games and assets and characters and stages and I'm hoping through the course of this game jam so not tonight because I have to call my mom in the morning <laughs> so she can film and take pictures of my design journals, which are still back at my parents' place, back in the suburbs. I'm in the city right now, and it would just take way too much time to go back. So I'm going to get on a video call with my mom tomorrow. Hopefully she'll find my old game design journals, and hopefully I'll be able to extract some assets out of that to make a 2D platformer that I wanted to make back in the day. We'll see. So here this here's the story so far. I have gotten I called my mom. I got the assets for, that I drew way back in like middle school during a study hall. And now <clears throat> I'm starting to piece some things together. I'm very much being a script kitty right now and just sort of copying shit, but look at this. I got my little guy there. And it's got that sort of drawn style. I just added in a bit of a health system, but now I need to add in like the enemies, the enemy AI and the weapons and little by little, but we're, we're making progress. Three o'clock on Saturday, I have 40, no, 26 hours left. And some of that's gonna be eating, sleeping, See how far we get. Angle right. There we go. Eh, close enough. So, um, my camera committed Sudoku, meaning it's gotta sound so annoying. But I'm on theme. The game that I ended up making is called Pizza Time, and like I said, it's. A game that I designed way back in middle school and I never actually got around to. It was a, a quote unquote like lost project and I'm whatever that team Ico game was, I think I still managed to release this faster than, <laughs> than their Guardian game. But unfortunately you missed some highs and lows. I Saturday afternoon, right after I recorded that video, I spent two to three hours on collision between the player and the enemy and I just for some reason whatever layer I attached to the enemy just it wouldn't cross over with the player and that just drove me up a fucking wall for three hours but then I was able to turn it all around uh, I, I was able to get the pictures from my mom I took those pictures into GIMP and I cut out each of the assets. There's plenty of assets I didn't end up using just because of time crunch. And I ended up filming an intro and outro for the thing as well. And I've never used video in a Unity project before. And I've never actually made a Unity 2D game. 
I think I did like way back in the day of a super simple one, but this was the first one where it really felt like my thing. And I hit these peaks and valleys the whole time of like, yeah, I'm doing great. I, I'm accomplishing this task and then finishing the task and then having no clue where to go next, no idea what to prioritize, panicking, but then getting right back into it. And I think I made something pretty great. So, if you want to check out what I did this weekend, last weekend, head on over to the link in the description. It has access to both the executable file. You're going to have to extract both of either of these if you get them. It has the executable file and it also has the game package if you want to look through my uh, spaghetti code, essentially, that I used to get this thing off the ground. Yeah, that about covers it. Um, this Wednesday, I will be on stream. The coordinator for this game jam, Brian, was kind enough to let some of the people who made their games onto his Twitch stream. He's going to go through playing all these games on Twitch, and I'm going to be a sort of commentary track on the side while he's playing through it. Yeah, go check out my game. I have other games on my website too if you want to check them out. If these, if this one piques your interest, and yeah, maybe you have a nice one. Peace.